By this time, we understand the importance of storage accounts. Storage accounts also use the pricing model. That means everything that you use in cloud, in Azure specifically, is chargeable. So when you're designing storage solutions in the cloud, always think about pricing model. How much are we going to pay? What do we pay for? Are we going to pay for data storage or transaction costs? In this video, we'll understand how the storage will impact the pricing. Let's talk about the performance. For mission critical applications, you are expecting least latency and good throughput. So in addition to the amount of data stored, the cost of storing data depends on the storage tier. The per gigabyte cost decreases as the tier gets cooler. And as the storage gets hot, the per gigabyte cost will increase. Data access charges increases as the tier gets cooler. For data in the cool and archive storage tier, you are charged a per gigabyte data access charge for reads. Transaction costs. There is a per transaction charge for all tiers, and this will increase as the tier gets cooler. Geo-replication data transfer costs. This charge only applies to accounts with geo-replication configured, including GRS and RAGRS, which is read access only geo-replication costs. Geo-replication data transfer includes a per gigabit charge. When you choose geo-replication, you are replicating your data between two geographies, and that also includes the network transfer costs. How about outbound data transfer costs? Now, outbound data transfer is a data that is transferred out of an Azure region. So outbound data transfers incur billing for bandwidth usage on a per gigabyte basis. Changing the account storage tier from cool to hot incurs a change equal to reading all the data existing in the storage account. However, changing the account storage tier from hot to cool incurs a charge equal to writing all the data into the cool tier. 